Good morning, every brothers and sisters online. Today we have to read Acts chapter 23 from chapter 23. We see the darkness become greater and greater. It's just like the Jesus when Jesus um, nailed on the cross. Before Jesus nailed on the cross, the darkness becomes greater and greater. Bef maybe from the beginning is only a quarrel, but afterwards, is um, they have to kill someone. So we have to aware if we have a little, we have a little bit sin, we have to tackle it. Otherwise, it will become just like a monster and cute someone. So we have to see how how the monster come out in this chapter. We had we can divide um, divide it one verse one to ten to first paragraph and then verse eleven to the end is the second paragraph. The first paragraph is he is at the council and at the second paragraph is he have to facing the uh, those high priests. First one. Then Paul, looking earnestly at the council, said, "Men and brethren, I have lived in all good consents before God until this day, and the high priests and the leaders commanded those who stood by him to strike him on the mouth." Then Paul said to him, "God will strike you, you whitewashed wall, for you sit that to judge me according to the law, and do you command me to be struck contrary to the law?" So Paul was brought to the council. And Paul and just like he is at the court. But this court is very special because it's at the council of the Jews. So the high priests have to um, see whether Paul break the rules or laws. But Paul looking earnestly at the council and he said, Men and brethren, I have lived in a good consent before God until this day. So Paul said, Actually, what I did, I have a good conscience before God. And the high priest Analias commanded those who stood by him to struck him on the mouth. When Paul heard this, because high priests cannot hear anymore, just like a manifest, because Paul said, How come you can say uh, spoke like this? And the high priest, because the high priest think that he did wrongly. He did something against the law. Actually, before Paul met Jesus, actually, he did the same thing with those high priests. So high priests should be no Paul. I think many elders and high priests know Paul because Paul is quite famous that time. So he, they must think that Paul is crazy because he did, did the thing is totally different from before. And because many people follow Paul, so they thought that Paul did something wrong. 
And then Paul, Paul just responds, God will strike you, you with wash wall. You whitewashed wall. Actually, this is familiar because actually Jesus said the same thing before to describe the Pharisees. So what is whitewashed wash? Wall is a wall, but what is whitewashed wall? When we have to um, whitewash the wall, wall is for protection. But how come we have to whitewash? That means that we want to decorate it and let it look nice. But actually, there is no need. So whitewashed is, is like a pretend. It means that it is different. The outside is different. Our look is different from the inward part. So this is a pretension. So for Chinese people, it say this is um, a fake people. So when Paul said they were whitewashed walls, they even more angry. Because he said God will struck you. I think Paul at that time is look at the high priest at that time and say God will struck you. Speak to the high priest. For you sit to judge me according to the law, and do you command me to be struck contrary to the law? Because you should judge me according to the law, but you struck me contrary to the law. For you sit on on that position, you have the authority to follow the law. But I haven't yet speak. But you start struck me. You haven't yet asked me clearly, but you struck me. So actually, is no righteous there. You sit on the righteous seat, but you struck me contrary to the law. That's why Paul said God will struck you. Because for you struck me, God will strike you too. For you struck me, so God will struck you. So for Paul, he is very uh, bold to speak out of this and telling about the problem of those high priests at that time because they have the position and authority but they didn't do a deed according to the law. So he said that they are the whitewashed wall. And so that Paul said that even you are sit on sit at this position to judge me, but God will judge you. So for today, if we are a leader, we are not sit on a high position. Actually, we have a God. God will judge us. So everything for we do, we should think about the judgment of God. So what we do, we should do according to the God's law. 
Thanks, Lord, that um, God leading 611 to that we can read the Ten Commandments again. Actually, for those Pharisees, they, they didn't read any, any Ten Commandments again because haven't yet judged, but they struck Paul before. Even Paul didn't say anything. They just want to kill him and don't want to do anything. And there was no righteousness. Actually, why they treat um, Paul like this is because jealousy. Because Paul did great thing and let the high priest and the Pharisees jealous. Because they, because Paul let many people believe in Jesus and they just follow Jesus. And what Paul did that affects their authority. That's why they want to kill Paul. So we have to understand Ten Commandments. Otherwise, we will do the same thing. And those who stood by said, Do you reveal God's high priest? Then Paul said, I did not know, Reverend, that he was the high priest, for it is written, You shall not speak evil of a ruler of your people. So those people stood there and said, Do you reveal God's high priest? You dare to do that? Reverend, I did not know that he was the high priest, for it is written, You shall not speak evil of a ruler of your people. Paul actually is using the scripture to teach those people. For those people, they use scripture to actually we read the same Bible, but how come um, we did differently? This is because someone who read the Bible is read for some for the other people but not by themselves maybe we read oh we, we maybe we read Bible but we is thinking oh this scripture is for you this this scripture is for someone so this is the, the Bible just like a ruler to measure the other other people and to condemn other people by this Bible scripture but not measured by themselves but Paul when he read Bible he is used to scripture used the Bible um, just like a ruler to measure by himself so that is humble if you read Bible um, to measure other people actually this is a pride so even we've read the same Bible but we have a different so for the high priest actually they looks nice at outside but the inner side actually is not is, is not good so when Paul knew that he was the high priest then Paul not spoke anymore because he knew that what they did now God looks upon them
what the high priest did at that time is recorded on Bible. So all the people, all the descendants also know that this high priest was the white washed the wall. And everyone know that what he did is wrong. So we have to reflect our life. We read the Bible for ourselves, but not for other people. For we have 10 months to read the Ten Commandments, so we have to know deeply about the God's words to reflect our life. So we can know that which side have the light and which side is the darkness side. But when the poor perceived the dead one part, when Sanducus and other Pharisees, he cried out in the council, Men and brethren, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee, concerning the hope and restoration of the dead. I am being judged. And when he said he had said this, a dissension arose between the Pharisees of the Sanducus and the assembly was divided. For Paul, actually, he is full of wisdom. He was really good. He, 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 he should be a, a important position and he know that this is half of Pharisees and the Sadducees so he want to he say, I'm Pharisees and I'm the descendants of Pharisees. And my father also Pharisees. So he is the descendants of Pharisee. So Concerning the hope and restoration of the dead, I am being judged. So they divided into two different groups. For Sanducees say that there is no restoration and no angel or spirit, but the Pharisees confess both. Then they arouse a loud contrary, and the scribes of the Pharisees' party arose and protested, saying, We we found no evil in the man, but if a spirit or an angel has spoken to him, let us not fight against God. Now when there arose a great dissension and commander fearing, lest Paul might be poured in pieces of them, commanded the soldiers to go down and take him by force from a mountain and bring him into the breakfast. So for sentences, because they are very logical, they didn't believe resurrection. She, he, they, they are too logic, so they, be, they don't believe in resurrection. They just follow the law. They thought that a man die will go to the heaven. So, if you believe in God, you will go to the heaven, and you, they just follow the rules, the law in the Bible, and they don't believe in angel and spirit. They only believe in God. That is sentences. That is a core belief. The Pharisees were different. They believe that have resurrection angels and spirit. So sentences actually they don't believe the the realm of spirit. So for what Paul spoke and arose them 
they can, um, they just quarrel about this. Pharisees, the core believe that they believe the resurrection in spirit. So suddenly the Pharisees said, Oh, I don't think Paul has a problem. It really has some spirit or angel talk to him. So the Pharisees suddenly stand beside Paul. So the Pharisees believe that the spirit of Jesus talked to Paul they, but actually, the core problem is Paul believed that Jesus is the Messiah. Paul is not only the one resurrected, he was the one, the Messiah. He is the salvation and equal to God. Jesus is God. So for Pharisees and Sadducees, they also not believe that Jesus is, was, uh, is the God. But Paul is full of wisdom because he just, he say, he believed that the resurrection of that so suddenly Pharisees just argue with the Sadducees. Actually, they argue of this issue for a long time already. But because San, uh, Pharisees and Sadducees, they just arguing. Even the high priest afraid. And then. Because the high priest just fear Paul might be pulled to pieces by them, and the soldiers just just go down and take him by force from among them and bring him into the breakers. When Paul came to and and verse eleven, but the following light the Lord stood by him and said, "Be of good cheer, Paul, for as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so we you must also bear witness at Rome." And when it was day, some of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under an oath, saying that. They would ne neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. So now there was more the forty who had formed this conspiracy. So actually, God protect Paul that he have to go to Jerusalem to testify. I think because what God what Paul did actually touch the God's heart so that the Lord just stood in front of him and spoke to him. What we did now, did we touch God's heart? The heart of Paul is really good. For this chapter we read today, we can see right, um, light and dark is very um, clear. And verse 12, and where it was day, some of the Jews 
banded together and bound themselves under an earth, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. Now there were more than forty who had formed this conspiracy. They came to the chief priest of and elders and said, "We have bound ourselves under a great oath that we will eat nothing until we have killed Paul." Until the morning time should be um, full of hope. But among those Jews, they just think about how to kill Paul. If they not kill Paul, they neither eat or drink. It is a great oath. Just like Esther, she didn't eat or drink. Why they have to make this off is because they want to um, really, um, they really want to kill Paul. So that is a group of people. They think that they are, they were fear God. They were um. They worship God, but because. So you can see that the life of Paul and those、um, high priests is really different. They don't have a real life. They just follow the law, but not their life. So this is not a、um, tree of life. But Paul really act out like a Jesus. It's a tree of life. If they only follow the God and not tackle their own life, actually is the tree of、um, evil and good. Paul actually is alone. He was facing so many people, but he still stand firm. He didn't have any authority, but even is a great darkness that time. But Paul is full of God's light. And they make the oath. And they planted to kill Paul. But if we read the Bible, we must not kill someone. This is a big sin. But those Jews just want to kill someone. Then even they want to pray for God to to do this. In verse sixteen, so when Paul's sister son heard of their ambush, he went and entered the breakers and told Paul. Then Paul called one of the conscripts to him and said, "Take this young man to the commander, for he has something to tell him." So he took him and brought him to the commanders and said, "Paul the prisoner called me to him and asked me to bring this young man to you. He has." 
something to say to you. Then the commander took him by, he, by the hand, went aside and asked privately, what is it that you have to tell me? And he said, the Jews have agreed to us that you bring Paul down to the council tomorrow, as though you, they were going to inquire more fully about him. But do you yield to them for more than 40 of them lie in what for him? Men who have bound themselves by an oath that they will neither eat or drink till they have killed him, and now they are ready waiting for the promise from you. So the commander let the young man depart and command him, tell no one that you have received these things to me. So for Paul, actually, he didn't do any um, great sin, but everyone at um, that time, the Jews, just want to kill him. They only have different belief, but all those people just want to kill him. So they plan to have 40 people and want to kill Paul. But God just let um, someone heard about this and then and then told the commander and he called it for two centuries saying prepare 200 soldiers 70 horsemen and 200 specimen to go to Sinralia at the third hour of the light and provide mounts to set Paul on. Because the commander think that, oh, this time is 40 people, maybe next time is 400 people. So that the, com the commander think that the, those Jews was, were crazy. So he, he knew that he cannot treat it normally and he just called two centuries, 200 soldiers, 70 horsemen and 200 spearmen, it, um, 470 people totally. So this is a great uh, amount. Horseman actually is a great mighty in the battle. So the commander just as half of his um, military to protect Paul. He knew that if Paul stay at Jerusalem, actually it's very dangerous. So he just sent Paul to St. Railway. And Claudius, he wrote a letter in the following manner to the most excellent governor Phyllis. Greetings. This man was seized by the Jews and was about to be killed by the coming with the troops. I rescued him, having learned that he that um, he was a Roman. And when I wanted to know the reason they accused them, him, I brought him before the council. I found out that he was accused concerning question of their law, but had nothing charged against him. To 
delivering of death or chains. And when it was told me that the Jews lay in wait for the men, I sent him immediately to you and also commanded he accused to stay before you the church against him farewell. Then the soldiers, as the co commander took Paul, had brought him by light to anti purchase They next day they left the horsemen to go on with him and return to the Boris. When they came to Syria and had delivered the letter to the government and also presented Paul to him, and when the governor had read it, he asked what province it was from, and when he understood that he was from Sicilia, he said, I will hear you when your accuser also have come, and he commanded him to be kept in Herod's Praetorium. So for commander, actually he knew that Paul didn't do any wrong thing. And he did it carefully because he brought Paul in the midnight to the Simsaria. And use more than 400 people to protect Paul. So he did it carefully that make sure um, he can send uh, Paul safely to Felix, the governor. And let Felix to, um, to see how to treat Paul. So in this chapter, we see the darkness become greater and greater. But for today, we should stand under the tree of life. We should have the life just like a tree of life. And we should read the Bible by ourselves, but not read for other people to condemn others. May God help us. Thank you, Lord, because we know that all of my life is in your hands. Thank you, Lord, as you lead us. Whatever we are facing, you are with us. You are the one give us the power. Thank you, Jesus, that for the powers in 611, you just lead our church. You are the righteous God. You, you will bring us to the promised land because you are the good God and you are the God of our life. Thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, for today, this chapter, we can see that Paul's life is also in God's hand. Even he was caught at the council, facing so many quarrels. Even the high priests afraid that they will tear by them. And even the Jews want to kill him. Even he was facing such a great darkness, but God still stand beside him. Be of good cheer, Paul, for as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness at Rome. For today, maybe we also facing many difficulties during the epidemic, maybe we facing our career was affected, or maybe our children, they, the schools was affected. But for today, God just said to, spoke to us that be a good cheer, be a good cheer, take courage. 
be encouraged. So God spoke to us. Whatever what we are facing now, we still can testify our God when the circumstances is good. But for now, the circumstances is bad. But we still can testify to our God. Maybe if in the past we experienced the healing of God, but now we still can experience the help of God, and we can arise and testify to our God. For today, I hear God that say, maybe some of our brothers and sisters, sister, we are we are now facing the difficulties in our job or some difficulty in the relationship. If we are in the neck and we have facing some attack, just like Paul facing forty people. They planned to kill him, but God will use commanders, use more than four hundred people to protect him. Also for today, brothers and sisters, you have to have faith in Him, even even have enemies want to attack you, but I will arise. Ten times more angels to protect you. So for today, maybe we think that even the darkness become greater and greater, but God is the ruler. He will do the miracles, even the greater darkness. But you will. Experience the greater miracles because I promise you, you will write. You can program how God will protect you and help you. Even the darkness now is even greater. The difficulties is even greater, but we can program that God will lead us go through it. So let's pray together now and believe that God. He is the righteous God. He is the faithful God. He will protect us, that we can test. Thank you, Lord, as you are the unchanging God. You are full of power. You are full of grace. For the past, how you let us experience the victory. For today, we will experience the victory again. And we can testify you in the future. Thank you, Lord. Brother and sister, our God is a faithful God. We should follow Him and believe Him. So we can lie on Him just like Paul. Like worst one, he said he was live in all good consents with God until the day until this day. Let us pray for our life that our life can touch God's heart. Even we facing any tribulation. We just fear God, and we just follow God's rules. May God help us and give us a heart of fear, God. We will, we will facing the final judgment when believe that God is the righteous God. And also pray that we should have a、um, desire in our heart that we desire the Bible. 
that we read the Bible is for ourselves. That we pray that we have a life. That we can love God's words. We admit that maybe we all, when we read God, read the Bible, we always think about other people. But Lord, today we have to read the Bible for ourselves. May you help us that we can reflect our life every day. May Holy Spirit help us. That we can read the Bible for ourselves, for our life. When Holy Spirit just remind us that we have to tackle our problems in our life, and the sin will not grow just like a monster. Thank you, Lord, that for the church we can read the Ten Commandments、um, in ten months. Shall God give us a new sight to understand Your commandments and understand Your words, and take away all the false,、um, all the wrong belief? That we can really receive the Ten Commandments with our heart. And we believe that the commandments is to breath, bless our life, and give us a desire heart that we can read your Bible more, and we can receive your words, and we can live it out. Lord, help us that the Ten Commandments can write on our hearts. So that we can respond to you from our heart, and the Ten Commandments can become our core value, and we can walk under the tree of life. Let's sing together to respond to our God. For today, this chapter. Light, darkness. Light seems alone. Seems、um, no power, but even a great darkness can hide the light. Today we have to pray for this life. Even more difficulties. Even the day is full of darkness, but we have to shine. If we, if we, but the following, like the Lord, stood by him and said, "Be of good cheer, Paul, for as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must also bear." Witness at Rome. Be of good cheer. That means that you have to happy and joy. If we catch what Jesus catch want us to catch, if we can shine for Jesus, that joy and peace will be with us. So we can pray for our heart. Holy Spirit, may you fill us. May your joy and peace fill us. Even now at Hong Kong, we are now in the epidemic and the financial just run down. We are full of fear and many tribulations. But help us that we still have this joy and be of good cheer, because our God is be with us. 
In Jesus' name, I put the scripture in all the brother sisters' heart. Even we are in a great pressure, but be a good cheer, no fear, be bold. May God that help us. We can. We can shine for you in these difficulties, and we have we are full of joy, and we can bring the joy and peace to our friends and family members. Just like Paul, when he was facing the great darkness, but he become the light and shine to the other people. May you also give this faith in our. Within us, hear our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the morning devotion today. Finish here. Bye bye.